Well, we're not getting skunked this weekend. Yeah, look at that big thing. Good, decent size. Oh, running pretty good. Oh, this is a good one. That's still a good walleye. Oh my, that is a Holy. pig. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hazy Outdoors. This weekend, Braden Bain, Connor Maloney and I are going on a one night camping trip to Southern Alberta. We got a couple spots picked out. We're on our way there right now. We're hoping to catch some big fish this weekend. Sit up here. We're gonna go with a pickle rig. Get a weight on the bottom. I gotta attach the hook still. I have my leader from last weekend fishing. It's just easier to switch the hook if I want to go casting. But I think most of the weekend we're gonna go with the pickle rigs. The pickle rig is gonna work best here, I think, just because of how rocky it is. There's a good chance that we'll get snagged, but we picked up quite a few from Bass Pro Shops. But the reason I might not use a spoon or a crankbait is just because. If it dives down too much, we're gonna get a snag and lose that $15 hook. Might go to it if we can't catch any walleye here, but the guy across from us just caught one and it looks like he's using a pickle rig, so it looks like it's gonna work. The choice of bait this weekend, we're gonna go with some minnows. I've heard that minnows work best here compared to leeches for whatever reason, so that's why we're going with them. I had a bite. Yeah. I I just got a hit too. Did you? Yeah. I just keep. Look what I caught. Oh. Look at that. Bring it over here. Well, we're not getting skunked this weekend. Yeah, look at that big thing. Oh. Oh. Well. Bainer just caught a crawdad. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they get kind of... Oh! Oh! Yep. Here we are, Hazers. got the first fish of the day. How's it feel? Good. Decent size. Oh! Running pretty good. Just gotta make sure that that weight doesn't get buried into the dirt. Oh, jackfish! Woo! That's a good one. Grab the net, maybe. Oh, he's I running. Know. I don't know if she'll fit in the net here. Actually, you should be good. We'll pull him to shore. Yeah. It's a good jack. Did you got the weight too, or? Oh. Right, here you go. Oh baby, what a fish. This is awesome. This is the kind of fish that we came for down in Southern Alberta. We're not gonna keep any fish. We're not 100% sure if you can keep jacks, but we're gonna get them back in the water. It's just gonna take some time for him to recover. And off he goes. We've been fishing for a couple hours now. Just caught that jack not too long ago. Good size. Boys are in for a swim. I'm gonna cook up some Smokies for lunch. We're continuing to fish. We got our rods in the water. We're still pretty close to them just in case, but it's time for some lunch. So it's a pretty slow morning and afternoon so far, other than that one pike. Yeah. 
What's your outlook going into the rest of the evening? Uh, optimistic for sure. Um, they're in here for sure. Uh, as we know, there's a wall I caught on the other side here. I think uh, once it gets a little cooler, the, the wild are going to get active. So we'll see. So what I'm going to try and do here is cast it over to that slow moving water. There might be a little bit of a ledge there where they might come up to feed and then go back down to the deep. Kind of getting pushed around too much with the current right now. See if I can get it over there. Money. So me and Connor are sticking to the pickerel rigs with the minnows, but Brain's ADD is getting to him a little bit. He's yeah, changing okay. it up. Okay, when the five of diamonds start casting, get off my uh, butt for a little bit and enjoy the sun over over yonder. So see you in a little bit. It's still about 36 degrees out right now. So that's why we think it's gonna be slow walleye fishing. There's a little couple deep pockets here, but they just don't want to bite right now. A nice chunky one. Trying to make sure that he doesn't get away. Look at that walleye. Nice and thick, good length. We're gonna get him up to a measure, just kind of see what we're working with here. So that's 20, or one foot, 19 inches. They use so much energy when you're fighting them. You wanna make sure that they're nice and recovered before you release them. I'm gonna be casting back into the same spot there. It might be a little bit deeper, and that's why that walleye was hanging out there. Walleye love to hang out in schools. So I'm gonna try and put it back in the same spot, see if I can get another one to bite. Oh. I felt it. I was trying too hard to get the set on camera. I'm gonna let it sit here for like three minutes. Yep, yep. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good sized fish. I'm coming. Danger's on. Oh, dude, that's a jumbo. Look at this walleye. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. I gotta get the, pass me those pliers. It's tough because I don't want to get stabbed by these other hooks on this pickle rig. Look at this unit of a fish. That is a giant walleye. Three and a half 
because that's two foot three and a half inches. That is a giant walleye. Look at that beast. It's time to release this guy. Well, just caught that giant walleye, about 69 centimeters on the pickle rig with minnows. I'm gonna be casting right back into that same spot. Wasn't even five minutes between walleye. Hopefully there's another bigger one hanging out there. Beaner's out casting, using a Rapala. We just Pulling got him up, unhooked. Small guy, but... <laughs> you got one? Ah, let's go. Look at that. Decent sized walleye. Connor's got one over there. I'm gonna run over there. Let's see it. That's a good one. Run over there. That's go a good one. Out. Here we go. I think Connor's got a decent sized pike on. Oh yeah. Whoa. Almost slipped and fell there. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not massive. Not a giant one, but a hey, a fish is a fish. I have to cut some of those. It's pretty deep in them. Is it? Yeah. Let's just cut this before we rip his. Yeah, I agree. Before you rip his gills. Yeah. Connor got this nice pike on the board and off it goes. Yeah, that was, a, that was the right play for sure. Yep, Keep definitely. I'd my, and especially with a hook like that, yeah. it's gonna rust out of its mouth. Double header, let's go. Just getting warmer. We got supper on the barbecue, some moose steaks, ribs, cream corn. We're eating good tonight. I'm cooking dinner. Braden's catching fish. He's using the Rapala still. Oh, it's fighting good. Good size walleye. Yeah. Waluigi. That one's a chunky one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a hog. All right, well. Got a pretty good size one in here. The play might be the Rapala right now. There. See how long he is. Oh. That one's a tank too. Oh. Here we go, set it down now. Just under 60, we'll call it. All right, we'll get this guy back in the water. Second one of the day. Whoops. Oh, a lively one. That's one way to release him, I guess. Off he goes. Let's keep going. Woo! cooking dinner and I'm just slinging fish over here. Paints another walleye. Doesn't feel as, oh, she's got some fight to her. There we go. That's a decent size walleye. It's not it's a good size walleye. Not the biggest one, healthy, but.
There she is. There's another one. Good to go. Breen's got the most fish on the day now. Check that little guy out. Not as big as the other one. What? Hazer, you can keep cooking dinner and I'll keep catching Good. fish. Nothing beats it. No steaks on the barbecue. And fishing. I'm kind of hoping I catch one. But I kind of want to wait till I'm done eating so these steaks don't end up on the ground. We'll see if it happens. So the bite's gone kind of dry. I'm going to change it up. Got this little jig head. The tongue on it. And this paddle, plastic. I'm gonna try casting with it a little bit. See if I can kind of bring the fish in. I don't know. Might as well try something new when the fish aren't biting. Bottom. Oh, there we go. Well, as you guys can see, it's getting pretty dark out. Brian and I decide that we're going to stay and fish throughout the night until we get tired and then we're just going to go go to a campsite and set up our tent or just sleep at the back of the car. Haven't decided yet. Uh, Connor had to go home, go back to the city, but this is the first time for Braden and I. Neither of us has fished at night before, so it's a new experience. We'll see if we can hammer some fish here, but I don't know. Yeah, see what can happen. It's yeah. a little dark. Throw some uh, lures out there and see if they're biting. Well, we're only a couple of minutes into the night fish and Braden is snagged. I'm stuck. I don't even know where it is. Could be 30 feet old, could be five. You can't really see anything, but it's all about the experience, so I don't even know what to do. I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. I think you got a jumbo on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, look, look what Braden just caught. Um, on my weight, yeah, I don't know. I thought I was stuck on a rock and this thing's super heavy. I mean, I'm caught in my arm here, but look at, like. Look it, at this thing. It was just bending my rod. Look, like, look at the bend in the rod. I was. I was like, yeah, I'm stuck, and then, yeah, wow. Guess we're having clams for breakfast. Like, how do you get this off? <laughs> what do we do, Jim? Where's Bear Girls when you need them? Like, look at that. Like, he's clamped on there. Oh, ooh, ew. Crawdaddy and a clam. <laughs> Seafood platter for me today. <laughs> we're back out at the lake. Brittany and I are going to be fishing the other side as some other people got here before us. But that's all right. There's people catching fish on this side. Brayden's going to cast. I'm going to use a pickle rig. And let's see if we can catch any more fish today before we head back to the city. I was just changing my setup here. Hazer's on. It's a pretty good size. Not bad. First fish of the day. Decent sized jack. Not super thick, but pretty good line. Yeah. We'll give this one a quick release and send them back.
Braden's reeling in too quick. I can't get over here. Oh, it's just a little guy. Just a baby. This is a small guy. Nothing too crazy. Oh, just a little baby. It is what it is. Fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. And off he goes. And Take your spot and I take your fish, I guess. <laughs> it's the blue one, like you said, though. Good, healthy one. Definitely not as big as the ones that we caught yesterday, but it's still a good walleye. Nice, thick, good length. Take that any day of the week. Okay, and we're gonna release this guy back in quick. Look at that. Well, that's it for the weekend. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hazy Outdoors. I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go check out my website at hazyoutdoors.com. Go check out my Instagram page at hazyoutdoors. Like, comment, and subscribe for more outdoors content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.